What's up, YouTube? Destination Exploration Unlimited back with another video. We had a minor setback, as, you, as you've seen in the last video, if you guys watched it. But we're making new videos again. So today we're going to talk about manzanita berry tea and manzanita berries and, and some of their benefits. Check these out. We got about a half cup of manzanita berries here. We're going to use to make a tea. This is going to take overnight to do. So half the video will be today and then half the video will be tomorrow. But... I'm going to talk about it today. So look, we're going to use about four cups of water. We're going to boil the water. This is where we're going to start. About four cups of water. You usually want to use about a cup of manzanita berries, but I didn't gather enough. I, I was out there. Um, I thought I had about a cup, but I, I guess I was wrong. You never know until you really get back and measure it out. All right, so we're going to boil this water here. And while that's getting ready to boil, we're going to talk about some of the benefits. So they're, they're full of antioxidants. Uh, the natives used to make teas out of the berries a long time ago, the Native Americans that used to live here. And um, they've been using them for a long time. Um, but, the, you know, it's, it's amazing to think that, you know, out of all the plants in the world, we have, we have 50,000 plus known edible plants in the world. And, you know, we only use about a few hundred of those in the world to feed the, the populations. And only 15 of those few hundred actually make up 90% of the food intake in the world. So that's pretty crazy when you think about it. There's a lot of other plants out there that we could be using to, you know, benefit from. And um, manzanita happens to be one of them. The whole, the, the whole plant ha has all kinds of benefits, you know. So, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to tell you a little bit more about that. We're gonna wash them, we're gonna rinse them off. You always wanna rinse everything off before you pick in the wild. You never know if some, you know, animal might have peed on it or something, you know. You just wanna rinse it off to make sure you get all the, whatever's on it off. And dirt and stuff like that. All right, so we got our berries rinsed. What we're gonna do after that is we're gonna wanna crush them up real nicely. So we're going to use this nice grinding stone I got here and we're just going to mash them up real nicely in here. You know, we're going to be gentle because we got, it's glass on rock here, but mash them up, get them all smashed up nicely. There's a lot of powder inside of these berries. You don't want to eat these berries like this, I hear, because they'll, they'll clog up, the, the skins will clog up in your, in your intestines. water starting to steam Ooh. see now this is an overnight process because you want the berries to sit in the boiling water I mean you want to take the boiling water and and put it in uh, inside this with the berries inside your French press I usually use the French press you can use something else but I use the French press so you put the berries in the, in the boiling water inside there and you let it sit overnight and it'll it'll steep the berries. Let's see what you got here. It'll really soak up all of the nutrients and benefits from it that way. All right. So now that we got our berries ground up. We're just going to put them inside this French press here. Some of that off the rock there. Dip this in, in the water right here. There we go. I like to use this stone for grinding. It's a nice stone. Um, once you get everything ground up and everything, oh, our water is starting to boil. So, we're going to take this water. Yeah, it's rolling boiling right now. Come check this out. Once your water starts boiling like that, we're going to take it, we're going to turn it off, and we're going to pour it over this manzanita berries right here. This 
Now some people, they drink it right after 20 minutes, you know, after it cools down. Um, the best way to do it, to, let, to get most of the, the, the most you can out of it, is to uh, let it sit overnight at room temperature, and you really get the most out of it. So I'll come back tomorrow, as I'm gonna let it sit overnight, and I'll come back tomorrow and I'll show you guys the rest of the video, but we're gonna talk a little bit more about some of its benefits too. And you know, always look this stuff up. You know, don't just take my word for it. Always get another source. You know, you never know. Um, I might be lying to you. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're back. It's the next day. The tea sat overnight. We're gonna try it out today. I don't know if it's gonna taste good at room temperature. Uh, we might have to warm it back up. I, I don't know. I haven't ever, I haven't actually tried Antony Berry tea before, so this is the first time for me. So I'm glad you guys are tuning in and watching with me. Um, I know I said I might be lying to you in the last video. That was a joke. I wouldn't lie to you. I'm just taking the information that I've been told and you know information that I've known and just giving it to you guys. So we're going to talk a little bit more about the benefits too. You know, so it's been known to fight stomach ailments of all kinds. It has lots of medicinal purposes. Uh, the Native Americans, like I said earlier, the Native Americans have used it for a lot of things. They used to use it for uh, poison oak remedy, I hear. You know, for the rash, when you get poison oak. If you don't know what poison oak is, there's a plant around here that's native. It, it'll give you a really bad rash if you get it on your skin. The oils will. Um, and this is known to fight that. Uh, also, it's uh, been known to fight kidney problems. You know, if you have any kind of kidney problems, it's been known to help with that too. I know I haven't told you how to identify the manzanita plant yet, but I will do that in another video for you guys, just so you know exactly what you're looking for. The plant's scientific name is Arctostaphylus pungens. That's how they pronounce it. It's a weird scientific name. But yeah, so back to the benefits. It also is known to fight bronchitis in the lungs. It's a lung disease that you get. Um, well, infection. If you don't know what bronchitis is, you can look that up too. It, it, but it's known to fight that also, so that's that's another good benefit of it. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and try this tea out right now. See how it tastes. Now I'm just gonna try it out like this, just to see if it's uh, if it's good at room temperature. And if not, we're gonna warm it back up and you know taste it then. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you can also add some other kind of tea to this, you know? Use your own tea bags, infuse your own tea into that, you know? You could use whatever you want. Um, maybe even put some apple cider with it or something. Mix it with some apple cider. It tastes good by itself, just to let you know. I'm gonna try it warmed up though right now. We're gonna put it in the pot to get it warm again. Yeah, it's full of antioxidants too. I'm sure I already mentioned that, but it's it's got really a lot of health benefits that you know are really great for you. Oh, there's a little jumping spider right here. Yeah. He was trying to get in my tea. <laughs> Can't go in there, buddy. We're gonna heat this thing up. All right, guys. So it's heated back up. We're gonna drink the rest of this. I'm gonna tell you a couple more things about it and then we're gonna wrap this video up. So thank you guys for tuning in. Always appreciate the views. It's good warm. Um, I like it warm better. You probably drink it anyway. It, I mean, everybody has their preference. Some people might not even like it at all. It's actually got like a sweet taste to it. Yeah, a little sweet. The natives used to chew on the leaves, the manzanita leaves, and then they'd take it, without ingesting it, they'd, they'd take the, the leaves and they'd rub it on open sores in order to help with a lot of their open sores. So that's another thing that they used to do. Um, I've heard that it helps, the tea helps promote appetite and the berries themselves help promote appetite. Uh, they're good for diarrhea. Uh, they've 
uh, certain cases, people have cured their diarrhea with it and stomach ailments and stomach cramps and stuff like that, you know. Also, just chewing on the leaves, though, I've heard uh, cures headaches. I've never actually tried it, but um, I might end up doing that one day because I get headaches pretty often. So, uh, Thank you guys for tuning in, though. So, the Native Americans used to use the berries as um, a toothbrush slash toothpaste because the, the shells are kind of hard, so they would help scrub your teeth. And they'd use the berries to help make like a paste in their mouth as a toothpaste. So that's another thing that was also used for. I can't really think of any more uses right now, guys. But um, thank you guys for watching so much. I, I really appreciate it. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.